how to take care of your body as a massage therapist. So here you are, you're a massage therapist. Maybe you've been working for one year, two years, maybe even a couple of weeks and you're realizing, wow, this is a little bit tougher than I thought. My body is feeling achy, sore, tired. I'm working more hours than I thought I would. And it's piling up, it's starting to pile up. Your quality of life is going a little bit downhill back's achy, maybe your wrist is aching, and maybe you're even at the point where you're thinking, hey, can I even sustain this for another year, two years, 10 years? The thought of going 30 more years might be scary. I had all those same things happen. I've been doing this for over six years now, and I had serious existential crises thinking what am I going to do with my life what do I even care about if I if I have to get a new job where am I going to go Walmart I'm not against Walmart but I had that conversation with myself where I thought there's no way I can sustain this I was working 25 hour weeks sometimes 30 hour weeks 30 sessions a week and health was down the tubes I could hardly sleep had pains all over my body, back would ache. I was carrying my table around. I didn't have my wheels yet. I'm gonna have to make a, a video on the equipment that you need as a concierge massage therapist. I was carrying my table. I was wearing a back brace. My back hurt in my car. I could hardly sleep. My workout, I stopped working out. I stopped going to the gym, thinking that this was enough working out. Guys, this is not enough working out. You have to prepare yourself in the gym. So how do you prepare your body to survive in this profession? We're talking about building the massage therapist's body so that you can be vital and transformative and feel good. You have to be happy in this profession. If you don't feel like every session is raising you, you're doing it wrong. You should feel refreshed after every session. You should feel better after every session. I can honestly say, I feel more lubricated. I feel more calm and at peace. I feel more elevated because I just helped somebody. Massage therapy is good for my soul. But it wasn't always like that. I had to build myself the massage therapist mind. I had to build myself the MT body. MT mind. It's good to have an MT mind when you're an MT. It's also good to have an empty body, especially if it's your belly. So let's go over top five things. Number one, to build the empty body, to survive in this profession as an empty successfully, you cannot overtrain. What does this mean? This means you can't be working more sessions per week than you can handle. Only you know this. You have to push your limits and try a 15 hour week, well, first a 10 hour week, a 15 hour week, a 20 hour week, 25 hour week. Some people love 20, 25 hour weeks. They have bodies that recover that quickly. And if you have that good technique, you can do it. There's no set standard of how many you should or shouldn't do. It's up to you and your body, and how fast you can recover based on all these factors we're gonna talk about. So, Make sure that you're not working too many hours. Check out my business videos so that you know how to decrease that without decreasing your salary. How to get started in business, how to keep 100% of the proceeds because you have your own patience. Okay, so get that unlocked. Don't work too many sessions. Don't overtrain. If you feel like garbage in the gym, go a little bit lighter. Don't push too much weight and exacerbate your fatigue, your inflammation and your tissue damage. You have to be intelligent with these things. Use your instincts, feel and introspect. I'm telling myself this in a sense. You have to know when to back off and take a deload in your weight training and your sports. You can't just power through with Hulk force and force yourself to grow. No, you have to be intelligent about healing because strength in the gym performance is about healing, not, not what you do in the gym. It's about how good you heal and rest. 
what you do in the gym is just the stress. You have to rest from the stress to be at your best. Oh. All right. Number two, how's your nutrition? What's your diet like? You have to be very honest and introspective about this. Don't fool yourself saying, my diet's perfect. I did that for so many years. I can tell you right now, your diet isn't perfect. Your diet likely has many hidden things that you've never introspected and tested that are causing inflammation, fatigue, dullness, lethargy, and depression in your system. And you don't even know. This is the secret impact of food. Check out my video called The Unknown Impact of Food. Check out my digestion series videos. Check out my superfood playlist. The basics of this is that apart from just timing your meals so that you're not eating right before your sessions, I used to do that too, big mistake. Don't eat right before your sessions. Give the food 30 minutes to digest before you're up and with that person. That's vital. Don't eat right before, okay? Other than that, check out my videos on nutrition. Check out my videos on how to know what food to eat for your constitution. Check out my video here about knowing your dosha, knowing how to eat according to your dosha. Other than that, use your common sense. You know if you're eating the foods that inflame your body, or maybe you don't. What I recommend is after every, during every meal, feel exactly what it's doing to you. Feel your energy before, feel what it's doing to your energy, feel your energy after, feel your mind before, feel your mind during, feel your mind after, feel your energy before, during, and after. See how you change, see how it changes you. If you're eating good food, if you had motivation before, you'll have motivation after. If you're eating bad food, you won't have motivation after. It'll dull you, it'll demotivate you, it'll depress you. And notice the subtleness to it. It might be a little bit, might be 5%, might be 50%, might be 150%. And another tip that I recommend is simplifying your meals so that you can test individual ingredients and pay attention. Like if you add in peanuts, see what the peanuts do to you. Isolate the variables one at a time. One time, eat only papaya for a snack. That's a great thing to do. For snacks, eat only one food and see how it impacts you. You have to start doing this if you care about your health. Apart from sleep, food is the number one thing that affects your mind and your body and your energy. It completely changes the chemistry of your entire body instantly. Whether it's energy and life and strength or the opposite. So take the time, make this a new goal, make this a new wrinkle in your brain. This is going to be a good goal. What good does it do if you have all the money and success, but you feel internally bad and you don't even know why? You have to pay attention to yourself and nurture your life. Know what's good for you. Know what's bad for you. Know yourself. All right, so we talked about not overtraining. We talked about food. And I guess to finish that off, you know to eat all the good herbs all the good spices, all the good veggies and fruits. One other thing I'll say is experiment, especially with wheat, corn, and dairy. These are particularly risky foods, damaging foods that can disrupt your stomach and your intestinal tract and your gut flora that many people have allergies to for reasons I won't go into right now. But check with those foods Make sure you don't have food sensitivities because they could be subtle. Like I was slightly um, reacting to peanut butter, natural peanut butter. I didn't even know it. For years, I ate too much peanut butter, created phlegm in my throat. I have to spit after every meal, took it out, didn't have to spit. Energy rose through the roof. Didn't feel lethargic, heavy, dull in my stomach, depressed. So I had a food sensitivity to peanuts and peanut butter. I didn't know it for years. I thought something was wrong with me. 
Nothing was wrong with me. Just kept on eating the wrong stuff every day. All right, so moving on. Building the yogic body, how to survive in this profession. Number three. Are you doing body work on yourself? Are you giving yourself the time to heal? Are you giving yourself the spa day once a week, twice a week, three times a week? Are you doing your foam rolling, your massage gun, your cupping, your medicated baths, your stretching, your yoga? Are you going to the ocean? Are you going on bike rides? Are you getting the earth on your body, the wind, the air and the fire? Are you exposing yourself to nature? Or are you letting all that fatigue accumulate and you feel miserable? If you're not working on yourself, if you're not getting a massage when you need one, you're gonna feel like a wreck. You gotta take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. If you can do it to yourself, you'll learn even more. So get on that foam roller, experiment with all these different therapies, do an enema, cleanse your colons, cleanse your nasal passageways, invest in your health. I have to say this, get eight hours of sleep at night, ding, ding, ding. I think that'll be number, number four. You have to sleep. I was sleeping six hours a night for pff, four or five years, not realizing that that was the cause of a lot of my anxiety, weakness, depression, fatigue, overtraining, misery during the job, misery waking up in the morning. Six hours of sleep versus eight. Started sleeping eight hours a night, boom. I feel like I'm Superman. I'm happier. I'm more confident, I'm more social, I'm happier. Little things make me happy. I'm better in the gym. So don't underestimate sleep. I still remember, I met this one therapist one time. I said, hey, what's your favorite way to recover and to heal between sessions? And she said, sleep. And when I was in that mode, I dismissed it. I said, Puh, she really knows nothing about therapy sleep how lazy of her to say see how stupid i was i didn't question my own beliefs and i caused myself years of suffering because i didn't unlock that truth once i unlocked that truth my health gateways opened up does that sound new age health gateways it was a gateway of health that opened up <laughs> my health gateways opened up guys my, my chakras completely open. It was profound. It was angelic. It was cosmic. <laughs> so, um, what else do I got for you now? Those are my top four. If you have those four in line, you're gonna be good. Number five, I'll just say, where's your mind at? How do you feel about your career? How do you feel about when you go into the session? Are you just looking at the clock? Or do you feel like you're blessing this person? Do you feel like you're using your time how you want? Are you doing something that you're interested in? Do you believe in what you're even doing? How's your technique when you're massaging people? How do you feel during the session? Do you feel refreshed, calm? Do you feel like you're digging your elbow with this, this bad feeling in your back, this pain in your side? Are you not enjoying how your body feels during the session? You gotta learn better ergonomics. That's number five. How do you feel during the session? That's number five. Mentality and your body. Don't underestimate these things. Don't be so cocky that you're gonna say, I have good ergonomics. There's nothing that I'm doing that's bad. For so long, I didn't realize I could have been doing things smarter. For years and years, I didn't realize how I could be doing different techniques smarter and better. You have to invest in learning these things. Get Ohashi's book on body work. He's a Japanese master of shiatsu. I read his book, at least even just the parts on technique. You will instantly enjoy your sessions more. The mindset, the body, the mechanics. We just got home. 
guys. My health ninjas. And, um... It'll change your experience completely of how you feel. And your patients will love it. You know, you want somebody who's at ease massaging you, not someone who's in pain. It makes a difference, believe me. Uh, number six is just your mentality. Believing, loving what you do. That'll help you build the empty body, the empty mind, and you will be successful. And long, a long standing hero in this career because not many people can even last past year three so let me know let me know any information that i may have left out on any of these six points tell me what your favorite one is tell me what you want more videos about so i can make more value and content for you guys so that you can start making what you deserve doing what you love, making the world a better place, enriching each other with energy of love and healing, responsibility, integrity, and authenticity. This is the Monk MT. Like and subscribe if this blessed you. Until next time.